Hello and welcome. Um, I just thought I'd do a quick video. I'm not sure if people are aware, but obviously, you know, you can load up your trailer, take your wood, deliver it to the sawmill or a production point. Hang on, let's throw some extra ones on. There's a couple more over here. This is how I like to load up my wood. I don't like to use the log forks and things like that. They're just a bit too sketchy. Um, and I found doing it this way with this one makes it a bit more fun, a bit more simple. That was a fail. These are cut to 12 meters to fit onto the trailer. See if we can be sneaky and grab these ones as well. I'm using the CSZ um, big bag grabber, whatever it's called. And it's a telly handler with a 1500 kilo weights on the back. It's pretty handy, especially for this reason. You want to get them over the other side, you can just extend out. Get them down there. And Bob's your uncle. And then if you're worried about the logs falling off on this trailer, you can make the little things zoom up. Get a little bit extra on there if you want. Obviously, normally you'll take these to a sell point, like the sell-all container over there. Or you'll take them to a uh, sawmill carpentry building, like this one. This one actually takes... Um, wood chips as well and turns them into these pellets these little things and and fast as well like I'll put a list up of the mods I've used in here in case anyone's keen I'm not far enough over maybe for those to unload that's not really the point of this video we'll just get rid of it and him out because that's just me Hopefully this will work this time. There we go. Alright, so over here. With part of the Platinum Pack. we got containers that can be used in Silver Run Forest. But there is now a mod out. It's been out for a little while. Production selling points. It's called a wood distributor containers. So $3,700 and it allows you to use containers on any map that you're on as long as you've got the uh, silver run or the platinum expansion. The containers come in three different sizes. You've got the uh, 12 meters, which is just on the back of the trailer. A 9 meter 30 footer and a 6 meter 20 footer. So basically, it allows you to do auto loading. This um, low loader comes with the expansion pack as well. It's actually. It extends out, extends in, does all that. I'm going to take this one off because we'll use the 9 meter one. Better get lower than that. Take this off, hopefully we don't hit the other one that's just there. That's right there in our way. Back down. Good to go. Let's see if this little beast of a telehandler can pick up the other one for us. They so want to make sure the doors are at the rear so you can load it up a bit easier. For some reason this thing is, seems to be going a little bit slower than normal. There we go, what a ripper. When you do put the containers on, they do self-latch. Um, 
bring that back in you can make it wider this low loader put the ramps out you can extend it out to carry the wider loads as well it's a pretty handy little 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 thing make sure the doors are going to be on the back see if we can line this up We're a little bit off there. There you go. So it is locked in. I I have had one come undone, so just be wary of that. Alright, let's open these doors and we'll get to it. Yeah, I've got some nine meter logs sitting here that we've cut. Um start loading them up. So with when you're loading up your forestry trailer. Obviously, it's not a huge deal if you've got different size logs. Uh, they're all going to the same place anyway, right? Uh, with these containers, they all have to be 9 meters, otherwise you get a penalty. I've got a stack of little ones over there. Um, we'll throw one of those in if we have to, but... Yeah, if you buy a 9 meter container, 9 meter logs. 6 meter container, 6 meter logs, etc. Otherwise, you do get a penalty and you get less for it, but... Uh, I'm on console, obviously or Xbox, at the moment, and when they said auto load logs, I'm like, yes, you know, no super strength, no nothing. You, until I found this CSC, CSZ um, bail grab, that was an issue. Like, not an issue, just a pain in the bum. Logging wasn't really fun. It just, uh, it was, but not on the big maps, I guess you could say. Doing it here and there was good. But when you had to clear whole fields to make a farm and things like that, it just was like, I don't know, it just didn't feel like it was fun to do. So, this um, big bag grab has made a huge difference. It's like I enjoy it now. And I know some people are like, ah, oh, but there's log forks and things like that. Well, there is, but I'm hopeless with them. Same as the cranes. I've done a video earlier um, about some of the things I use to do logging. And... It took me forever just to try and pick up one of the logs with the uh, the Volvo that comes with the Silver Run Forest. It was just, yeah, it just didn't work. So, at least now you can do it like this. It's a lot faster. Um, it, it probably works out cheaper when you get paid the money back. You do get reimbursed for the... Uh, container as well some of these are a bit chunky so we might try and grab a couple not all of them yeah just instead of having to have and I mean you don't have to have it on this trailer any trailer that you can stick it on you can just strap it down so you don't even need to buy a lorry you could probably go and get yourself um well I mean we'll try it in a minute we'll go up and see if we can get it onto another trail that looks pretty full Almost. I know it's going to mess up my profit, but I'll show you what it does. If you put the wrong size log in there, whether it's too big or too small, just pick one of these up. Uh, seven meter. You try and put that in there. This loaded log has the wrong length for the container. This reduces the sell price. So. I'll get less now for the container. I'll try and pick that one up up there. If it needs one or two more. But yeah, the joys of this is obviously you buy the container just from the game. If you've got the silver run platinum expansion, uh, the farming simulator platinum expansion, the containers are there to be bought. Um, and there's that mod over there. It's thirty-seven hundred bucks. It works exactly like the container warehouse in Silver Run Forest. This one's too long. I think this is a 12 meter. But that'll do us. So, you just place down the... Uh, place down the factory. I will put a link to this in my description. You just drive along and it should just pick up the container and the logs and pay you for it. There you go. 
Hey, this. So yeah, I don't know what the value of the logs are in here at the moment. I've got it. I think I'm on the hard one. So it's not probably the greatest to show you that, but the wood distributor. So the train yard, you get twenty three hundred. The wood distributor is about the same price as the other ones. Um, on other maps I've been on when I've done it, it's been on. That's been way more. So we'll head up to the shop. We'll see what other trailers we can find. And, um, where are we? Where's our little tally handler? There it is. And we'll see if we can load it onto something else. See up there. Right, so we've got our 20 foot sea container here and a 20 foot trailer. Uh, this is, I think it's the 82 Studios trailer. There is other versions you can get. And low loaders, like you can probably try it on that. Um, except for that hump in the middle. There's that one there. Then you've got this one, which I think you can go up to 50 foot. Now there's 50 foot. Let's go 40 foot bumper pool. We'll buy that and we will get ourselves a 40 foot container. And see if we can get that on there too. That's right, that doesn't look like a 40 foot trailer. This is a 20 foot container. Obviously they won't self lock like the other one does. You just have to strap it down. That fits on there well. If I got it on straight to start with. 
and then we got the 40 foot container here she's struggling a bit with that but it lifted it hangs over the back a little bit but it's on so this one looks the most sketchy but I'm just saying like that's strapped down so three grand for the container eight grand for the trailer and three grand for the production building let's call it four because it's 3800 so for what are we looking at I'll get this thing hooked up eight grand for the trailer three or four grand for the container and four grand for that you're looking at twelve sixteen thousand dollars and you're logging you get yourself a chainsaw for a thousand bucks and that's it put a front loader on your tractor I mean, I'm not going slow. We're doing 90, and it's working on this trailer. Yes, it is on backwards, but we're not loading anything into it. I'm gonna get it to lift. Okay, get the front up a bit. But yeah, like that's on there. So if you had to go logging and that's all you could afford, 16 grand, that's it, you're ready to go. It's on there, it hasn't fallen off. Let's just go straight through the lake and do a bit of a kamikaze and see what happens. It's still on there. So all you need is a little bit of dollars, a trailer, and this mod. And you can use, and as long as you've got the platinum expansion, you can use it on any map that you do as well. So the the mod we're looking at again. It's that one. The wood distributor for containers. I can't remember who it was by. Um hang on a second, I did write it down. It is by ER Shaba VSR Modding Saw. Wood distribution for containers. It's on all platforms. Give it a try. It's made wood more fun, a bit more simple when you're starting out. Between that, the telehandler and the CSZ uh, big bag forks makes it more fun. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. Check out description for our socials and. Give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down, leave a comment, whatever you like. Cheers again. See you soon.